Okay, so for question D, you look at here. So use product rule. First, I follow the instruction from the question first. Use product rule to answer this. So actually, this we have alternative alternative method where we can expand. Then we in the we go into different shape one by one. So I follow the question first. How we use product rule before we start doing our differentiation. We have to rewrite our equation in term of power. So like one over x is x power of negative one. So we write it in term of power so that we can differentiate it correctly because every time we differentiate it involving their power. So we cannot let it one over something like that. So after we rewrite it, then we start our product rule. So differentiate y with respect to x, we apply in our product rule. So our product rule will be saling depan, differentiate yang belakang. Tambah saling yang belakang, differentiate yang depan. So we set out our product rule is like this. Copy which error function that you need. So copy copy function depan, uh, function depan rational function, uh, nanti differentiate function belakang ni. Then copy yang belakang ni, nanti kita differentiate yang depan. Okay, so sekarang saya differentiate yang depan. Uh, so differentiate, kita buat differentiate part. So differentiate yang belakang ni, differentiate satu dapat kosong, differentiate constant dapat kosong. Kalau kita nak differentiate sebiji X, maka kita punya formula ialah power turun depan jadi positif. Then power tolak satu. So negative one tolak satu jadi negative two. Okay, differentiate one it is zero. Differentiate one it is zero. So nothing here. So differentiate negative x negative one power turun depan negative negative jadi positif then power tolak satu. So siap yang bahagian sini kemudian kita ha, yang bahagian sini adalah differentiate yang depan differentiate sebiji x ni. So kita ulang proses kita ulang rules kita so you want to differentiate that ha, power turun depan darab 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 negatif satu then power tolak satu so dapat negatif dua. So how we going to simplify it? So this is we done our differentiation already. How we simplify it to our final answer? We going to factorize. So we we will find out. This is our first part. This is our second part. So how we simplify it? We find to the same factor. So you can see this is our same factor x power negative two. Same factor. So we going to factorize out x power negative two. So if we factorize out x power negative 2, so this part will remaining a x power negative 1. At the back here, um, since we factorize this x power negative 2, so here we got 1 negative, negative multiply with here, we become negative 1 plus x negative 1. So finally, we can get you can see x negative 1 plus x negative 1 means we have 2x negative 1 minus 1. Then last step, we rewrite it into the proper way where power negative is 1 over x squared. So this is 2 over x. Because x power negative, the x will go to the denominator to our x minus 1. So this is how we simplify our answer. So I have another alternative way if the question doesn't tell us say use product rule. So actually this question we can do it in simple where we're going to expand it. So for this y, we're going to expand it. Y will equal to 1 over x when you expand it. Then minus 1 over x squared. So we rewrite it in the power form. It will x power negative 1 minus x power negative 2. Then when we differentiate, we can use our rule straight away where power multiply, power turun ke depan, negative, power tolak satu jadi negative dua, power turun ke depan jadi positive dua, then power tolak satu, power tolak satu jadi negative tiga. So we write back our answer because power negative, we put back it into the denominator part. So both of them will give us same answer. Okay, but we have to see our question. This question requires us to product rule, then we perform our product rule. If the question just say differentiate, then we will find a 
simple way to do. So this method will be accept, accepted. 